Now this video is divided into five different sessions. In the first session of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add curve to your MetaMask wallet for those of you that have not added curve already. And then I'll show you what to do to get the one curve that you are going to be using as gas fee for the testnet phase of OEX. In the second part of this video, I'll show you guys how to add OpenEX network to your MetaMask and how to add the USDT and the core token to your MetaMask wallet so that you can successfully complete the KYC phase. To import core DIO to your MetaMask, you have to copy the link to the core DIO page. I'm copying mine from Telegram. I'll leave this link in the description box of this video. So all you have to do is go copy it, then head into your MetaMask wallet. Once you're in your MetaMask, select the fourth icon from the bottom of your screen to head into the browser section of the app. And then you paste in the link you just copied to head into the core DIO page. So once you're on the core DIO page, as you can see on my screen here, you scroll down to the bottom and look for this place that says add core network. So you click on it and it will ask you to confirm that you want to add it to your MetaMask. Then you click on confirm. And that is all you successfully added core to your metamask so you have to switch network now so that it's going to be displayed on your metamask page so i'll switch network and if i should head into my page right now the main page of this metamask app you're going to see that i have switched to core network and this is it on my screen here once you're done the next thing to do on this page now is to add core send core to your wallet as you can see i'm not having balance up to one core so i'm going to copy my wallet address and then head into my other wallet and send core from it to this place you need at least one core to complete the steps if you don't have core send me message on whatsapp to buy one core so you can complete this your kyc verification so that is that about that i've sent one core to my wallet right now you can see it's displaying one core already so I'm now heading to complete the rest of the task. The next thing to do now is to add the OpenNet testnet to your MetaMask. So to do that, you copy this link from the Part B section. Note, all links will be in the description box of this video because I'm going to be doing a lot of copy and paste. Head into your browser, then you paste in the link you just copied to go to the OpenNet page. Once you're on the page here, you scroll to the bottom again and you see this option that says connect wallet. Click on it, select your MetaMask and then connect. They'll ask for confirmation. So after clicking on connect, you still have to click on the confirmation button to import it to your MetaMask page. After that, you switch network so it can now be displayed on your home page. And after doing this, if I should go back to my MetaMask homepage now, I should be able to see the OpenNet testnet page and my USDT imported successfully. So you can see everything done and dusted. Now, only the USDT is displaying. So to display the OEX token, I'm going to head back to that page again. And then you can see the OEX option. Beside it at the right hand, you see a little icon of MetaMask. Click on that little icon, so you are going to import your OEX, then you click add token. And that is that about that, it's done. So if I should go back to my home page again on the wallet app, you can see I now have the USDT and the OEX. So the next thing to do now is to get the 10 USDT for swapping. To do this, copy the link to the AGX page. Again, you can get it from the description box of this video. So you head back to your MetaMask, go to the browser section, and then you paste it in as you have previously been doing. So this is how the page looks like. Once you're here, click on connect wallets and then you switch wallets. So if you've done that, you will get this prompt that core is now active. And then you now connect the wallet to the page. So once you connect, you'll be here. Click on this claim the testnet USDT. So this is where your one core comes in place. Once you click on it, the page should process your transaction and once everything is loaded successfully and you, your gas fee has been calculated, you click to confirm. And as you can see, they are just charging about 0.001 core for this transaction. All right, so once that is done, your testnet token has been claimed successfully and you click on this close button. So the next thing to do now is to check my wallet to see if the token has been added. And as you can see, I am on the core page, so I'll have to switch to the open EX testnet page 
and i've been giving one usdt and that is a problem for most people normally they are supposed to give 10 usdt for the transaction but here they are giving me one maybe probably because i didn't do the quiz first but that is not an issue if you got one usdt five usdt or anything less than 10 you can just come back to repeat the step to claim testnet usdt again so if i repeat this step they'll give me an extra one making two usdt and then i'll keep repeating the process until i get the 10 and you can even keep on increasing the process or repeating it like i did in this video i'm going to repeat it 11 times so i get 11 usdt to complete the transaction so after i have repeated the steps 11 times you can see on my page i'm now having a balance of 11 usdt and that is that about that so the next thing to do now is to swap some usdt to your open ex token and to do that you copy this link again from the part d section which will also be in the description box of this video you head into your browser page once again and then you paste in the link if it opens up it will take you to this page and you see you have a balance of 11 usdt so to swap is a pretty easy process all you have to do is select the amount of token you want to swap to oex as for me i'm going to be swapping just four usdt to oex so I'll type in the four then scroll down and swap So once that is done, you close the page and then I'll head into my MetaMask homepage once again to check if my swap was successful. And as you can see guys, it is successful. So for some of you, you might get this error whereby your OEX is going to be showing unable to load balance. If you get that, don't panic. You have successfully done all the steps correctly. So the next thing to do now is to now go to the official Twitter page and download the OEX testnet app to complete those five missions now you can also check the description box of this video i'll leave a link to download the official app there so you don't even have to go to twitter to look for their official page but as for me you can see me going to twitter to look for their official page to download the app So on this page, click to download from Google Cloud. Currently, I don't think the app is available for iOS users. So once you've downloaded it successfully, you now go to install and then open up the app. So the next step is very crucial. So follow the exact example I'm doing in this video. Once the app opens up, instead of clicking sign up, click on import and then go to your MetaMask page to copy your 12 seed phrase note it is this 12 seed phrase you are copying if you don't have yours head into your metamask click on the settings button and then go to your security and privacy your secret phrase should display there then you can review and copy it and then you go back to the page and import that is what you are doing you click to import so once you've imported successfully they'll ask you to create a six digit code and then repeat the code again for me i've created mine so i click on done and then i sign in if you follow all the steps successfully your balance should be showing here you can see i have the 10 usd testnet and then if i go back to my page the oex you can see the amount i've swapped it is displaying exactly on the page so that is that about that we're now heading to complete the missions once that is done we head into the first mission mission e which is to bind email so make sure the email you're using is the email that you use to register your satoshi app and then make sure you're using your correct country the country you are resident in as for me nigeria so i'm going to select nigeria and if you are done your balance is going to display on your page as you can see on my screen here so this is not my account i'm doing this for someone so you can see the oex balance is 10 which is what the person has and that is that about that if yours does not display don't panic more updates will come on that to resolve it so just make sure you link your email all right now to mission x a lot of people are having issues in this mission x page so make sure you pay close attention make sure you put in your correct twitter handle or x account whichever if you don't remember it or you don't know it head into your x page and copy your username make sure it is the one below it you can see i have two names here make sure it's the one that I have number below at follower so i'm going to head into that place and then put in the acts 
Folera, the exact name I am seeing on that page. Once that is done, you click on next step and this is where they will take you to the page where you have to post on your X account. So just click to copy. I'll click on this box here and once I click, this has been copied to my clipboard. So you head into your X account to make a post. Click on post and then I'll now post the um, things I got from that page on my page here. So once that is done, click on this, your post is sent. So it should take you to the recent post I just made. Click on this share icon. It should be the last icon at the top right of your screen. Then you copy the link, head back to your OEX and paste in the link. So if you paste in the link, they are going to remove all the link and you'll be left with only this number, which is the ID. So you click on check status. If you follow all the steps successfully, the app is working perfectly now. So you have no issues and you get verified in no time. So as you can see, I'm getting verified immediately on this page. All right, so if all the boxes are tick, all I have to click now is finish mission. And then I can now head in to the next session of this video, which is mission T, Telegram. Now this part is very crucial. Why? Because you can get scammed in this session. A lot of people have come out to make fake of this Telegram bot. So make sure to follow the exact steps I'm doing to know the right bot you are sending your wallet address to. So for this step, I'll head into my Telegram, pasting the username I just copied at ajax.box. I'll select this first one. It is the most likely correct one and then click on start. But don't send your wallet address yet. We are going to confirm if I am on the right page, if I'm not on the scammer's page. So I'm going to search for open EX official Telegram channel. Now, if I search on it, it should be the first one to show my page here. And you can see currently I have 119 thousand members or is it one million so you can see the figures anyway so i'm going to join the group once i join the group i'll head back to my agx box and if i click on their profile i should now see the group displaying you can see so that shows that i'm on the right page so all i have to do now is head back to um the testnet app i'm going to copy this to copy just click it will be copied to your cop clipboard and then i will now come and paste so once that is done you send and immediately it should be verified you can see so they say i have binded it successfully so you head back to your testnet app again although nothing will display just go back and when you go back click on the mission again you can see i have passed that step simple and easy we can now go to the next step to complete this next step, mission L, you need one coin at least for each of these tokens. And you can see I have USD and OEX, which I've gotten on my MetaMask. So the next thing to do now is to swap some USDT again, minimum of two, to AGI. So I'll go back to the main page, select the USDT. All right, so I'll click on USDT and then click to swap. And then I'll change this token to AGI because I am swapping USDT to AGI. So once that is done, I'm just going to swap two of my USD to AGI. And as you can see, that will give me about four AGI tokens. And I need just a minimum of one. So once that is done, I'll click on swap. So once it's done, I'll now go back. And on my balance here, if I refresh this page, you can see I now have two AGI tokens. So I'm now going to head back to that page again to complete my mission L. And this time around, the three buttons are ticked. So all I have to do is click on submit. And that is that. I've passed the mission on this page. So that will leave us with the last mission, mission Z, which actually is the part where we complete the quiz. Join my WhatsApp or Telegram channel to get answers to these quiz questions. Or you can use Google or AI. Now, I'll select the answers. One answer was wrong among these questions. So because of that, when I click submit, nothing happens. Note, if you click and nothing happens, it means one answer is wrong. So since I couldn't get the wrong answer, I'll go to my MetaMask to complete this quiz. The link to the quiz question will be in the description box of the post. So you just copy and paste it in the browser section as you have been doing before. So you come to this page, click to connect your wallet first. So after your wallet is connected, you can now click to start the quiz. So for this session, they are going to change the questions from the ones that I have on the apps and then I'm now going to use um use Google 
or anything they're going to check for the answer so this time around the answers are correct so they are going to pass me and once i'm passed on this page that is all it will be passed automatically on the oes testnet app note the app does not have issues currently if you pass the quiz on that page it's going to work but if you click submit and nothing displays it means your answers are wrong if you keep clicking and nothing happens and you get stuck all you just have to do is come to the com the description box of this post and then copy the quiz link and then come and complete the quiz on your metamask so you can see mine is done already and that is that about that so if i head into my testnet app now and i click on mission z you can see my quiz has been passed so that is all about the kyc testnet phase on oex if you followed all these steps successfully you should be done by now do not forget to follow me on whatsapp and telegram join my group so you can get more updates like this even before being uploaded to youtube if you have any issues please not hesitate to drop them in the comment section of this video share these videos and make sure to like so that this video can go to others who need it also this is tonio's tech medium